Now, if you've watched any of my videos on making money online or starting an online business, you will know that I speak extremely fondly of print on demand. It's a great way to kind of be very hands off with your business to make an extra income or maybe even a full time income online without you having to hold any inventory of your own. It's also, in my opinion, as well, a lot more practical than drop shipping because you're able to trust one reliable supplier who can actually deliver the goods that it is you are selling. This video is kindly sponsored by Printify. I'm going to be showing you a little bit about how to use their website and also how to connect your Printify business to your Wix.com account. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and again this video is kindly sponsored by Printify. They are a print on demand website that allows you to upload your designs to multiple different products that be mugs, that be t-shirts, that be kids clothing and then you can go out and promote those products um, on various different platforms and on your own website as well to help you generate additional income without you having to number one inventory those products and keep them in stock so that gets rid of all of the issues that you might have with regards to kind of maybe having dead stocks or ordering in stock that just doesn't sell and also you don't have to deliver your products to your customer once you make a, a sale Printify does all of that work for you literally all you have to do is create your designs upload your designs to Printify connect your Printify store to your website wherever your website is or whatever platform you're using and market that platform effectively and i have a bunch of marketing tips on this youtube channel that will help you with that and i'm also going to share a few in this video as well to really help you to not just create a profitable printify business but also to promote that effectively as well so as you can see i'm actually on the printify website right now and literally all you need to do is create and sell custom products so as you scroll down you see the steps are to create a custom product then you can sell your products simply set up with the most popular e-commerce platforms and they will handle all of the fulfillment for you so let's look at some of the uh, platforms that they actually have available that you can connect with right away shopify obviously is a hugely popular platform it's one that i hugely recommend you use if you are selling products such as this on your website um, they also have integrations and connections with etsy as well woocommerce ebay uh, preta shop big commerce and wix stores so this can be a great opportunity not just for you to sell your products on your own website but also to gain visibility on ebay as well and as well as you can see on etsy too so I speak a lot about, you know, not just selling on your own platforms, but also selling on third party marketplaces as well, which can help your products to get extra visibility and help you to gain extra sales. So that's really important and that's really key and crucial as well. That can help you to really improve the profitability of your business. Let's have a look at the Printify pricing structure just so that you can gain an idea of how everything works within Printify. So you can literally start with a free account. This allows you to open up five stores per account and unlimited product designs. You can progress to the premium account and this is $29 a month and this gives you 10 stores per account. And this also gives you unlimited product designs. And the enterprise account allows you to have unlimited stores per account and unlimited product design. So this is one of the reasons why I really love Printify. You can literally get started with a zero budget. You can go with their free account. You can start up your first five stores for zero dollars a month. You can list your products for sale and you only have to worry about the marketing side of things and you can literally start generating an income. So this is one of the reasons why I really love Printify. You can literally start on zero budget with their free plan and start up by setting your first five stores and up and uploading your designs and making money without any initial investment and as you start uh, getting more familiar with the platform then you can always progress to the higher accounts if you need to uh, but I want to kind of show you the process of creating a design and connecting it to a Wix.com website because I know a lot of you guys sell using Wix so I've, I've already set up an account setting up an, an account is really simple 
uh, they, they have a simple setup process and I'll leave links in the description down below to Printify where you can go and shut up, set up your first free account. Um, so as you can see, once you set up your account, you will have no products kind of created. So there's no, there's nothing in my catalog yet and there's going to be no orders. So you want to go to your my store section and you want to create your first product. So if I go and create my first product, it kind of gives me a category of all of the different products I can create. Now I can go eco-friendly and, and uh, create some eco-friendly products. Um, I can have a look at some of their best sellers if I wanted to. I can look at the home and living section as well. Um, or I can just stick to clothing, maybe men's clothing, women's clothing, or kids clothing. So I'm gonna go to men's clothing and I'm going to pick a straightforward men's lightweight fashion tee. And once you're happy with the product, you can actually start designing. So you can add your design here. So I'm literally going to just add my logo. So I'm gonna click on add design and it allows you to add your design from your device, from your Dropbox or from your Google Drive. So I'm going to go into my device and I'm going to find my company logo and I'm gonna select that, click open and it adds the design straight to my uh, T. So I can actually change the size of this if I wanted to. And as you can see, if uh, the size is too big, uh, notice here will come up and let me know that my resolution um, is basically not right. So that basically means I need to make this a little bit smaller. So I can make it smaller to the point where that message doesn't come up anymore. So I know it will show up correctly and it won't look kind of uh, this figured when it actually gets bought by one of my customers. Now, if you have designs that you have de designed yourself, then obviously you can upload these to Printify, but maybe you're not a designer. Maybe you're thinking, you know, what do I do if I'm not a designer? Well, you can even learn to design yourself using apps such as Photoshop if you really want to take designing seriously, or you can hire freelancers. So for example, Fiverr.com uh, is a website that I use often. So you, you can literally go to Fiverr and type in print on demand and there's loads of different Fiverr gigs of freelancers who will be more than happy to help you with your designs for your Printify business. Or another popular website is freelancer.com. I absolutely love freelancer.com. I've done a few tutorials on freelancer.com and I'll leave those videos in the description down below. Uh, but on this website, again, you can literally create a job posting on there, ask someone to design uh, a, a, a design for you for Printify and you can use their design and upload it to uh, your tea or whatever product it is that you're designing. So once you've finished with your design, you want to then click on next and then it will give you some of the mock-ups. It will give you a description and obviously you can add to this description. But the great thing again about Printify is there is a, an, a, already a, a default description here that uh, you can utilize and you can add whatever you would like to add. Um, and then it gives you your variants as well. So all of the different sizes that this comes in. And if I click on store details, then this allows me to connect a store that I can publish this particular product to. So I wanna to go to connect store and it gives me the different platforms that I can easily connect. And I can choose Wix for example and click connect. And this will take me directly to Wix where I can log in using my Wix information. So if you already have an account with Wix, then you can literally just log in and it will take you to Wix. But if you don't, signing up for a Wix account is super easy. You can literally create your own account. And when you finish entering in your information, you can click sign up. And when creating your website with Wix, you can choose the ADI design or you can create your own website. If you're not really that savvy in terms of creating a website, then I recommend going with the ADI design. This just makes things really simple for you um, and you can start now. You kind of want to enter the basic information of what you want your store to do. So we know we want our, our, our website to be a, a natural e-commerce store. So I'm typing in store here um, and you can choose t-shirt store, for example. So we know we have a t-shirt. So a t-shirt store might be something that would be useful for us to have as a template. Um, and then you can choose all your recommended features as well. So they recommend you having a chat, they recommend you having an online store, and there's other features that you can add uh, quite easily to your Wix website as well. I'll probably be doing future videos 
um, with an extensive tutorial on how to use Wix. And if that's something that you need and want, then let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make sure I do my best to work on that video. Um, so you want to give them, you want to give Wix as much information as possible. You can add your store name. Maybe this will be my day tips t-shirt store and you can click next and I'm going to skip through some of this information here and then you can pick your theme and continue and then it will ask you to pick your home page so choose one that you like click on that and then your website should be set up or at least a template for it and this is how the template should look and you can always edit this and then what you want to do is go back to printify and go to my store and you should see the product that you've just created and if you click on this little gear icon here and go to product details again and go back to store details then you can now connect your store again and go to connect and it will sh tell you you know do you want to allow Wix to connect to your Printify and you just want to select allow and install and then continue again and now it says success you've connected your Wix store so all you need to do now is publish this particular product onto your store. So once you're happy with the product and you're ready for the product to be in your Wix.com store, then you literally just click on the publish button. So once that's finished, you can then go back to your Wix website and you can go to your store section of your website. So let's say we go to our product page. You should now see, even before we've done any edits to our Wix site, the product that you've created, as you can see, this is my tea with my day tips logo on it. You can see it um, inside of my store and, you know, all of the pricing is here as well. And everything that you've set up within Printify is here for you to kind of change. So if you wanted to make any changes at all to your product, you can kind of go back to your, your Printify and you can um, kind of edit the product details right here. Um, so you can edit your mock-ups, you can edit your description um, and you can edit your variations as well and your pricing and stuff you can edit and change here. Uh, so it has kind of a, a retail price already there for you but you can make those changes if you want to here um, and it kind of shows you your profit and your profit margin percentage and so on and so forth. So any changes you make here because you're already connected it will show up inside of your, your um, Wix.com store or whatever other store you choose to connect to. So that's basically the simplicity of how you can set up your Printify store for success. Um, I will be doing some follow-up videos on how you can make your Printify store a success. So make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not already so you don't miss when those videos go live. Um, but I do recommend that if you're planning on creating a profitable Printify store, that you download my free formula. This is the formula to generate leads on, on sales online. A copy of it is behind me. I will also leave a link to it in the description down below and somewhere on this screen as well. That's gonna kind of teach you the principles, the basic simple, simple principles to generating leads and sales online to your website so that once you have your Printify website set up, you can actually start generating traffic leads and start making sales as well because that's your only job when it comes to print on demand and when it comes to Printify is actually driving traffic and sales to your products and Printify will do the rest for you. So make sure you go and grab your free copy of the formula if you have not already. But I really do hope that this video brought you value and if it did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day, make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.